Hello everyone, this is Maddie, and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. Well, before we get into all the new makeup, first, make sure to like this video. If you end up enjoying it, it would mean a lot to me. Make sure to comment whatever you want, suggestions, any stuff like that. I read all the comments. Make sure to subscribe for more content. Only 15% of you guys who watch are subscribed. 85% of you guys are not. So let's change that. Also, make sure to turn on that bell to know when I post. It's every Thursday, but just in case if you forget, you should totally turn that on because I personally would forget. So I would expect everyone else to, too. Also, make sure to follow both my Instagrams, my beauty one, which is Modified Makeup by Mad, and then my personal one, which is Madeline McBride underscore. Okay, everybody. So I got another Ipsy Plus bag. Um, I get them every month. This is the December one. Uh, I believe it's a lot of Christmas themed things, but this isn't going to go up until after Christmas because I have other videos I want to put out first. So I'm going to do my best to make this more of like a winter kind of cozy look, okay? We're going to work with that. That's what we're going to do. This is what the bag looks like this month. It's extremely soft like very soft. I would want this as a blanket or as a pillow or as a towel, as everything, a sweater. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did in my last video. Instead of me just reviewing the products and showing them or kind of unboxing it, I'm going to do my bake- my makeup? No, I'm going to do my makeup. Every other step that I do, I'm going to speed through because this video will be long as hell if I don't speed through it. And then um, the new products that I get, I won't speed through it and I'll talk about it and I'll review it and we'll have fun. It'll be a good time. But first, what we're going to do is look at the little card in here. It says, um, home for the holidays because, um, you know, we need more stuff shoved down our throat that we're in a pandemic. Home is where the heart, uh, it's where the heart and fun is. Don a red lip, indulge in what you love. With who you love, it's what the holidays are all about. That's cute as hell, Ipsy. All right, so then it gives you some tips for um, beauty recipes, like how to de-stress your hair or lighten up your skin. You know, just cute stuff, okay? Anyways, so I know what products I have in here already. I already kind of went through the bag, but what I'm going to do is just continue with my makeup and I'll come back when the first product is going to be put on my face. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I've primed, I put on my foundation, concealer, and cream contour, and now the first product we have is a powder, which is funny because I don't typically use like a powder, like a translucent powder. I use baby powder. Don't ask me why I've been doing it for so long and it's always just worked so well for me that I have never changed my ways. You know, we're gonna try something different. I don't know. I get weird with powders because baby powder is like super mega translucent for me and some like translucent ones will have like a weird color like it'll make my skin a weird color so I always get worried but we're gonna try it okay um we have the set go translucent powder by complex culture it looks very fancy put your best face forward with this talc free loose powder infused with ceramides hydro hydrolyzed silk um and blue lotus flower extract to beautifully set blur and mattify your complexion in one simple step um yeah it's promising a lot I got some fat ass pores so we're gonna ignore or like this area. It's probably not showing up on camera, but you know, when you look at yourself closely in the mirror, every single day of your life, you see them. Yeah, I just broke, <laughs> I broke the lid. So that's sick. No, that's tight. Okay. So, um, we're going to use my sponge, I guess. So I usually start, oh wait, Smells nice. I usually, with powders, start off on my eyes. So far, it does seem pretty translucent, which is usually a big complaint for me, is that translucent plow- plowder? <laughs> okay, bitch. No, trans- LUCENT! Can I speak? Powder usually is not translucent. It's like, here's 
a rose colored very light powder so now you look all fucking ill and shit and i'm like oh thanks it does seem pretty blurred um my face is so so insanely dry right now because of all the heat inside of like buildings and shit i have like little peelies on my skin i'm doing my best during the winter season i'm super dry um ignore the little peelies i just have a couple if you see it like just you don't see it okay um so the powder feels nice i like that it didn't really change how the rest of my makeup looks it just makes it look more matte i think it's cool but again i'm always gonna say this if you just want to save yourself some money i'm sure this is better quality like i'm sure throughout the day it's gonna work better but if you want to save yourself some money just get like baby powder and i think i do that because i use a lot of powder at one time so if you're like me and you just slap a bunch of that shit on your face baby powder so i gotta do my eyebrows real quick you guys probably don't want to see that if you do want a video on my eyebrows let me know though but it's kind of a long process so i'm gonna speed through that and then we're gonna come back because i have a new eyeshadow palette so we're gonna get into that here in a second I feel like I dropped the fucking ball with my fucking eyebrows today, so just, like, pretend like you don't see it. Like, I pretend to not see it. Um, yeah, they're just a little bigger than I usually do then. But that's okay, because we have a new eyeshadow... That's disgusting, Maddie. New eyeshadow palette today, so let me grab this. Okay, so it's called the Fireside Palette by Ibby Beauty, or IBY Beauty. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced, because I've never heard of this brand before. No, it stands for Inspired by You, so it has to be IBY. It says... Hey, hot stuff. Hi, how you doing? Bunch of Christmassy shades in here. We have Below Zero, Snow Bunny, Hot Cocoa, Nippy. Is that like directly referencing nipples? To my Christian ears. S'mores, Evergreen, Hoodie, Cozy Up, and Black Ice, which is dangerous. My boyfriend was supposed to come over today and he slipped on Black Ice. No, he didn't like slip on it. Like he slipped in his car, like he skidded. And then I said, you're not coming over here today. Because for those of you who don't know, he lives an hour away so like <laughs> no anyways it's just kind of like your normal neutral palette i always like to have a lot more colorful palettes you never know it could have really great formula so first i'm going to tape my eyes there is five glitter shades and four um matte shades so we're definitely going to utilize the matte shades and like the crease and then i'm going to figure out a fun fun and fresh little way to use these metallics i always like to try to use every color just to play around but first what i usually start off with for almost all my transition shades is the js8 brush so first we're going to start with snow bunny which is right here just to kind of get like a basic transition shade this is really close to my skin so it's probably not really gonna show up a lot of fallout so far but you know what man like I'm not going to freak out because like it can be a really good product and still have fallout we don't know how the product is quite yet I'm not gonna make that like a huge negative but it definitely is like kind of all over the palette okay so now that I kind of have that there just for like a basic transition shade we're gonna try to build some colors here to make it you know very smoked out and pretty that's what I'd like to do with a lot of neutrals if I'm given them which I'm giving them a a lot so we're gonna go into the s'mores which is kind of like a bright color um i'm gonna stick with the same brush just so i can really smoke it out oh okay so right off the bat these are really easy to blend so far it's pretty good it doesn't look like there's any fallout on my face which is usually my worry if it's falling out and going everywhere in the palette is that sometimes that means it's gonna go everywhere on your face and that pisses me off because no matter how gentle i am and i try to slowly like flick it off my face it usually sticks and i just like i don't know man so we're just like getting the base for the smokiness so what i do is i usually put the lighter colors really big and then the darker i get like the less i smoke it out so moving right along i'm getting the js9 i think it's the js9 it's another blending brush just a little bit smaller and i'm gonna get hot cocoa up here which is definitely a true really really strong hot cocoa like they put like no milk in it you know what i'm talking about when you get like ovaltine and you're trying to like you know get some in there and like you're just like whoops we're gonna get hot cocoa on this brush and again smoke this out in the crease but don't go as far up as you did with s'mores you know okay wait a minute 
breaking news. It's like almost not showing up. You know what I'm saying? Like it's showing up out here and then the second I bring it in here, it's kind of like I'm having to go back and forth a lot for it to show up. All right, we're gonna take s'mores again and kind of like make sure these two colors are incorporated somewhat nicely. The main reason why I still wouldn't reach for this palette is more so because it's a neutral one and I'm a bright bitch, dude. Like I like to go all out. All right, now we're gonna get an even smaller brush. So I'm thinking the JS12. It's an even smaller blendy brush and we're gonna get black ice and we're gonna kind of just stick that right in the outer V. You know what I mean? Like out here and like really try to keep this like secluded one area. So I'm gonna take like my fat blendy brush. Oh, I need to put more on the side. One second. I'll take my fat blendy brush brush in a second. I gotta darken this up a little more though. All right, fat blendy brush. I'm just gonna dip into this dark color once and then we're gonna use it to like blend out the color, you know, but like we don't want to pick up so much that it just darkens up the whole eye, but more so enough that it's like it helps blend everything out. <sighs> There's something I'm not liking about up here. I think we need to take some snow bunny and blend up there a little more. Fuck, what the hell is going on? That? What the fuck is that? There's like a weird bald spot right here and I'm like, trying to blend it out. Do you guys see it? All right, so next I have a vision. Below zero, pretty highlight frosty kind of color. I'm done blending with my crease because it's kind of like making me panic, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna move right along. So I wanna take this, and this is just a flat little skinny brush. It looks like that. It's an off-brand mermaid brush. I don't know, but I really like it. I'm gonna take below zero on this. And I know you tell me like we're gonna have fallout, but like they off my fucking eye. Okay, now that we got the fallout out, um, I want to take this and put this in the inner eye corner. I'm not gonna lie. This is the first glittery shade I've used and it's a bit chalky. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of using my finger to like blend it out a little bit. It definitely like lightened it up a little bit. It's giving it like a soft glow. This eyeshadow, I'm not gonna lie guys, the more I go on, it's kind of questionable. It's like different textures. I don't, it's really hard to describe and I'm getting this fucking fallout off my face because I'm about to panic. Well, anyways, regardless, I'm gonna take this color again, put it on my brow bone. All right, well, that didn't show up, and I don't even wanna spray it, because I only spray glittery shades that I'm putting in my lid, because then it looks, like, thick and dark and, like, crusty, you know what I mean? In, like, a good way. But when I spray a shade that I put on my brow bone or my inner eye corner, it can make it look really uh, harsh when I try to just, like, soften it in there. I don't know. But I'm not gonna spray it. It's whatever. It looks a little meh. So I wanna do one of these. There's a red and a green. Those are like, that's how, that's them going crazy, okay? Like Christmas shade green. I'm thinking I want to put one on my lid and then one kind of blend it out under my eye, but which one is which? I should put red on my lid and blend out the green. I think that's going to be cute. So these ones I will spray. I'm going to give them a chance first to see how they are without spraying them. And if it's trash, then we're going to spray it. Yeah, we're going to put this red right here, pick it up on a, what is this, the JS10 brush and see how she shows up on the lid. So far, pretty okay. And the more I rub it, the more it's disappearing, which is even cooler. I'm really happy it's doing that and it's falling all over my face. It's okay that you got some fallout on your big dang cheek. I think I breathed some of it in. I'm about to get high as shit, bro. I like felt the powder go into my nose and I'm like, wow, what a fucking rush. Okay. One, we gotta get all of this fallout off. There's so much. So we're gonna take my Pixie Glow Mist. It's always the one I use whenever I wanna like make something a little more, you know, pop in. We're gonna spray it on my brush. We're gonna give it another little trizzle try and it's definitely a lot better. It's still falling out fucking everywhere, bro. But you know what? Getting like hot and angry, you know what I mean? It's fucking all over my face. Like, can you just, like, make it not do that? Like, okay, listen, I don't make makeup, so I'm not gonna act like I know. But, like, if other brands can do it, bro, like, I wish... I wish y'all could see this, because I'm not messing with my focus, because every time I do, I go out of focus for the entire video. And now I gotta very carefully try to get two pounds of red glitter metallic ass eyeshadow off my face, and now I look like I'm forever blushing. <sighs> We're just gonna blend the edges of this out. I'm going to quickly go put on my liquid 
liquid eyeliner and then we'll come back and work on the oh wait 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 there was another color i wanted to use i lied i lied i lied i lied i lied i'm gonna take this flat brush again and i just really want to use this one and again i think i'm making it so we're able to use all the colors i want to take some nippy and put it kind of in here like close to the inner eye corner which when i spray it it looks beautiful you know what i i like knew nippy wouldn't let me down i knew that it was gonna hold it up for the rest of this palette the first color and nippy are my favorite and i'm also kind of like blending nippy in with hoodie and then i also want to use cozy up it's like a purplish metal kind of color i don't know i can't describe things but i'm gonna put this on the outer corner of my eye and this is also looking very nice anyways okay i'm gonna put on my liquid eyeliner on the top of my eyes and then we're gonna work on the bottom of my eyes I'm doing a lot of damage control from Miss Fireside. I mean, the eyeshadow looks cute, but it's like, is it worth the rest of my face getting skewed up by it? Okay, well, we're gonna just let her go. You know, we're gonna let her be, and we're gonna start working with the bottom side of my eyes. And I also have another product I wanna use for the bottom side of my eyes, and I have a new eyeliner. So let's just try something else for the time being. Forget that I ever went through that hell. This is the Wander Beauty Skyliner, which is the automatic gel eyeliner liner and it's like a little pencil and it's in jet black we can put this on my waterline and see how it looks i really like when liners that i put in my waterline are um very smooth they're not like really fucking hard on me so let's see how that goes i like wander beauty they're always liking my posts on instagram and i'm like thanks guys so yeah they're cool i use their gel brow stuff what's it called Brow gel, Maddie, for fuck's sake. I'm kind of using the eyeliner to connect it to my wing a little bit. So now that I did that, it's a good product. I like a lot of their stuff. Now we are going to take a little tiny blendy brush. This is the JS13. And we're going to take the Fireside palette again. This is the Eternal Hell it's putting me through. We're going to take the green on this little blendy brush. And we're going to just start blending this under my eye. And who would have fucking thought... That is not showing up. Like, who would have thought that? Because I did. We're going to spray this. Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, it's looking, a, like, kind of cute, but it's just, like, kind of not what I imagined this to be. But, like, okay, the more I'm looking at it, I'm like, all right. The green looks cute when you spray the living fuck out of it. <sighs> I believe this is the best we're going to fucking get, if I'm being frank. I literally can't look at this anymore. All right, I gotta do my powder contour real quick. And now we have another new product, and that is none other than a blush palette by Lovecraft Beauty. I have a couple of palettes by them that they're all from Ipsy, and it's just called the blush palette, I guess? So they have a couple of different blushes in here. They're all very confusing names. It's like Althea, Dauphine, and Oscalia. Very pretty basic blush colors. So I'm trying to like look at my like color profile we got going on, and I'm thinking some Dauphine and Oscalia. I don't know. So we're gonna mix the two together. I generally like this brand. They're pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the blushes. They're just basic ones. I don't like blushes that are so strong when you first put them on and it's like a lot. You know what I mean? So like I'm happy that these ones seem like you can slowly work your way up. I strive to look like an e-girl. I kind of like put this like a lot on my cheeks and then we'll take a little bit and put it on my nose. Yeah it's cute. Cool brand. I'm happy with it. Really happy I got a blush palette from them. So okay I'm gonna do some other stuff with my face and then we'll come back for mascara. All right, I pretty much just did a highlighter and I put on like a little bit of a lip tint. We have a new mascara. The one we have is by Ico London Rock Out and Lash Out Mascara in Beatnik Black. Turn up the volume and amp up your lashes with our unique guitar-shaped brush. Guitar-shaped. 
From what I can see, it's just pretty good. I never really have much to say about mascaras. It's actually working pretty well regardless of the outlandish shape. There's a lot of product. When you take it out of the bottle, it like strings up really far. And I'm like, yo, chill. I'm always afraid to go in for more product whenever I do under my eyes. Because like those are very easy to clump up. No, it's like pretty cute. For some reason, it's like not really showing up under my eyes. So that was actually the last product. Finally, after many years of fighting off the fireside palette demons we've reached the end so now i'm gonna go put on my lashes and brow gel and setting spray and when i come back i'll give my final thoughts Okay, everybody, I finished my makeup, and now I am going to give my final thoughts, and I have, um, quite a couple. Okay, so the first thing I used was what? The powder? The powder is actually really nice. I really like it. Will I go out of my way to buy it? Probably not. I might just stick to... I mean, I'll see how my face looks throughout the rest of the day, but if it just looks like kind of like a tiny bit better than baby powder, I might not buy it again. It depends on how much it is, but I like it, needless to say. And after that, I used the eyeshadow palette. Listen, not a fan. If you're gonna go for anything in that palette, I would go for the matte shades. The metallic and glitter ones are terrible in every way, shape, or form. I really don't recommend it. It's hard to work with like, okay, under my eye looks like a cute green, but to get there, it was a little ridiculous. Uh, what was after that? The Wander Beauty eyeliner. Well, if I look in my waterline, it's still chilling there. It looks good. I always need black eyeliners for my waterline, so I'm really happy I got that and I like it a lot. I never need to buy black pencil eyeliners because Ipsy always gives me them. Definitely a good one. I would recommend it. Love Craft Blush Palette was probably my favorite thing. I really like it. I really like how the blushes went on. They didn't look like super clowny. I like the color options you have. Um, like very natural ones, but they also like pop a lot. Um, and then the mascara was pretty cool. I have not really many opinions about mascara. Um, as long long as it does what it needs to do, I'm happy. I wish it was maybe a little more on my bottom lashes to make them pop more. For some reason, it just wasn't showing up a lot on my bottom lashes, which is definitely an issue. Again, I don't really care to use or like get super into mascara because I'm definitely like a fake falsies lashes kind of girl. Um, but I think that's gonna be it, guys. Here's one last little look at my face. <laughs> it was a lot. It was a journey. And every time I get another Ipsy bag or anything else, I'll make sure to do a video like this because they're a lot of fun. I will see you next week with another video. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. Bye guys.